This is the dresser that I started with. I then took a trip to Home Depot to get some pine trim. Depending on the size of the dresser, I usually start with about 30 feet. I started making cuts at 22.5 just so I could get an idea of my design. I knew I had four drawer fronts that I was gonna alternate the pattern on. So I knew I wanted two different sizes and then you just duplicate that on the other two drawers. I played around with the pattern a little bit and then once I liked it, I started attaching with a nail gun. I usually work in sections of my pattern. I used a piece of the pine trim as my spacer. Just a little tip, I usually start at the top of the drawer front and then work my way down, which will ensure that the pattern on each drawer looks the same. I knew the next section was gonna be an angled cut, so I did the same using 22.5 angle, and then I used a 45 cut on the end of the dresser. And another little trick I did, I made that initial 22.5 cut, and then I would draw a line to know where my 45 cut would be, and it went pretty quick. And here's the completed pattern. Now to finish it up. To fill all the holes, I used a wood filler and then if any of the nails weren't in set, I used a nail punch with a hammer. I also added wood filler to any of the gaps between the pieces where they met. I then used this mineral paint from Melange. It's called Basilisk Black. Prior to painting this piece, I did some scuffed sanding just using a sander. Doing that will help the paint adhere to the piece better. I usually work with a flat brush that's designed for furniture. I work vertically and sometimes horizontally, but I do long strokes to get a nice even coat. On all my dressers, I usually do about three coats each. This was the hardware that I got at Home Depot and then I sprayed it with this copper spray paint. Here's a little trick I do for spray painting hardware. I take an old box, I poke a hole for where the hardware is going to go, I attach the screw to the hardware and then stick it in so it just barely touches the surface. And then I spray paint the piece. Once the paints all dry on the dresser, these are some of the items I use to seal it. I use a hemp seed oil from Dixie Bell along with a microfiber cloth. When applying it to the dresser, I first put the oil on the rag and then work it onto the piece. Just a couple tips, a little of the oil goes a long way on your rag and then working in a circular motion once it's on the piece helps to get a nice sheen. So after your piece is all oiled, I usually let it sit overnight and then I come back and buff it out with either the microfiber rag or a brush. And here is the final piece. It's crazy what a little paint and pine trim can do. little details I usually do a little bit of a drawer liner and then I paint the dovetails and there you have it a simple way to get an expensive look click below to subscribe to get more ideas on furniture flips